Did you know that when you get in a car accident, you could be leaving thousands of dollars on the table? Most people know that insurance companies will pay you for the damage to your vehicle. But did you know you can get additional money based on the loss in the value of your vehicle? Even when a vehicle is fixed, people don't want to spend full price on a vehicle that's been in an accident. And that is where diminished value claims come in. A diminished value claim is separate from personal injury and it's separate from the repairs that are made on your vehicle. In fact, you don't even actually have to be hurt to file a diminished value claim. In fact, a tree could fall on your car. A fire hydrant could go off. Fireworks could fall. Almost anything could happen that damages the vehicle and gets insurance involved. Also, you could even be at fault and your insurance company will still pay for a diminished value claim. Let's talk about how a diminished value claim is calculated. Let's say your car is worth $20,000. That is without an accident, without any blemishes. When your car has a tree fall on it, or someone backs up into it at a grocery store parking lot, now, after the insurance company pays to have it fixed, your car will look the same, but it's Carfax its history will include an accident. And when you go to sell the car and there's two used cars worth $20,000 on the market, who are buyers going to pick? The car that has been in an accident or the car that has not? Buyers overwhelmingly avoid cars that have been in accidents because they never know if there's something else that's now wrong with the car that wasn't in the initial report. Because of this, Sellers, like you, have to drop the price of the car to make up for the difference caused by the previous accident. That is a diminished value claim. And so for that $20,000 car where a tree falls on the back of it, even though the car looks the same after getting fixed, you might have to sell it for fourteen dollars or $15,000. If that's true, the insurance company will send you a check for five dollars or $6,000 for diminished value whether you sell the car or not. If you haven't figured it out by now, my name is Josh. I'm an attorney licensed in multiple states. As always, I'm not your lawyer, but I am gonna show you the steps to making sure you get the maximum amount for your diminished value claim. The first thing that you need to do is gather the evidence. Make sure you get copies of any kind of vehicle accident report, pictures of the scene, anything that was sent to you in communication by the insurance company, document, document, document. If someone else is at fault, you need to get an admission of fault in writing, either from the driver or the driver's insurance company. This can also be called a statement of liability. The second thing that you're gonna wanna do is understand your insurance policy. Every insurance policy is different they're gonna have different methods of how they handle diminished value claims. Read your policy, call your insurance company, and say, hey, I have a diminished value claim. What do you need from me in order to pay out? The third key, and it's one of the ones that I can't emphasize enough, is to get an estimate, a certified appraisal of your vehicle. Throughout looking at hundreds of these cases, I've seen insurance companies fight tooth and nail to keep every dollar they can out of your pocket. When you have a certified appraisal, it's very difficult, if not impossible, for the insurance company to say, hey, he didn't lose any money. Go and pay $20, $40, $50. There's tons of different services out there. This is not an advertisement for any one of them, but make sure that by the time you start communicating with the insurance company, you have that certified appraisal. If you have a car that's worth $30,000, dollars $50,000, you would be an idiot not to get a certified appraisal because you could be looking at five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars in your diminished value claim. The fourth tip is that you want to document expenses. As you're calling all these places, getting your certified appraisal, talking to different mechanics, having to use a rental car, costs stack up and you want to make sure that you include everything you can in your diminished value claim. Because remember, they're not just giving you a check because of the car's diminished value, but the work and the effort and the time that you've put into getting the car back to a drivable condition can be included in the claim. The insurance company is gonna fight you, and that is tip number five. 
I'll mention here that for larger diminished value claims, like if you're driving a G wagon, that's worth like a hundred thousand dollars. I would probably make sure that I had a lawyer helping me on my diminished value claim because I could be looking at 20, 30, $40,000. But if I'm driving a 2005 Toyota pickup truck, I'm probably going to file that paperwork myself after watching this YouTube video because I don't want to pay a lawyer or hire a lawyer for a diminished value claim that's only going to be about $1,000. Either way, whether it's $1,000 or 20, the insurance company is going to fight you. Be prepared to send multiple emails back and forth to have to get on some phone calls and potentially even have to file a lawsuit. Number six, always communicate in writing when you can. You don't want to have oral conversations that can get lost over time. People's memories fade. You might forget a key point. Communicate via text or email where possible. Number seven, make sure that you're ready to negotiate, okay? If you want $20,000 and the insurance company is only offering five, don't think that you now have to file a lawsuit. There's room for negotiation. A lot of these insurance adjusters have a specific number that they're trying to hit. Play ball with them, go back and forth. You can always ask questions like, would you take 15,000? Would you take 12,000? They can give you free information before you have to go file that lawsuit. Negotiate a little, play a little. And finally, be prepared to go to court. If the insurance company is not taking you seriously, you might have to actually file a lawsuit. Depending on the amount, it could even be in small claims court, which is a lot easier. When you file a lawsuit, make sure that you're assessing every piece of information at your disposal. You want to have all of the things that we've talked about already. The repair estimates, the certified appraisal, communication that's been in writing. If you're going to go into court, you definitely want to talk to an attorney. If you need help with a diminished value claim, go to notyourlawyer.law or call the number below and we'll help you with a free consult. Stay safe out there. And until next time, remember, I'm not your lawyer.